وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور got some more email coming in here on the mailbox. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. There's a question here. It's talking about Islam being the fastest growing religion in the world. Is this true or false? What about the Catholic Church? And what does this say about Islam and the Muslims? And did Islam spread by the sword? <laughs> All right. Uh, first part of the question, is it true? Yes, it is true. This is well known. If you go on and go back over the past 10 years, you'll find that this is something the Anglican Church acknowledged at the end of the last century. They said that Islam is the fastest growing religion and by the year 2010 it will be the number one religion in the UK. We found that Mr. Clinton, during his administration, said Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. And Madeleine Albright said that one in four of all humans on earth are Muslims. George Bush said that this is the fastest growing religion in the world. And also, now you're asking about the Catholic. It's the Catholic Church who issued the document recently saying that, in fact, Islam has now passed them in Christianity as number one in the world. Now, what does that really mean? Well, actually, not a lot. Really, it doesn't mean a whole lot by numbers. Because if you consider that there are about 6 billion human beings or more on the earth today, and you're saying that 1 in 4 or 1 in 5 claim to be of this religion, or 1 in 5 claim to be Christian, what does that really mean if they don't follow their religion anyway? Not a lot. And even those who are trying to follow their religion find that often the governments that wherein they live don't necessarily support their faith and don't allow them the freedom to express themselves. Now, in the West, where I'm from, in the United States, it's really great because if you're a Christian, a Jew, a Muslim, a Buddhist, whatever, you really don't have the limitations or restrictions that some of the other world governments are putting on the believers. And I really enjoy this uh, great and wonderful opportunity to express my religious preference. But I want to respect the religious preference of others, allowing them to believe and do what they want to do. By the way, Islam has taught me to do exactly that. This is what Islam is teaching us, to have proper respect for other religions as well. But as far as being the fastest growing in the world, I would like to tell you that Islam is amazingly coming up with a lot of women who are entering Islam at a time when people are saying that Islam is oppressive to women, and also the priests, preachers, Ministers like myself who have come to Islam are in great numbers. This is all impressive, but the biggest thing of all is, what about you? What do you think about Islam? What do you think about believing in one God and doing what he wants you to do? Because that's what Islam means anyway. Check out our website, islamnewsroom.com. Type in your keywords. We're out of time on the news, uh, on the mailbox, but until next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.